The stakes couldn't have been higher. The star, Michel Dornano, 19th place, Kong, hosting Dijon, a place and two points better off than the Normans. Kong coach Fabien Macarel, with the help of Roland Kobes, knew this was a game they could hardly afford not to win, but came into the clash on the back of an impressive win at Nice. In the last three outings, Antoine Kumbare has seen his mustard men gain seven points from a possible nine, following that brilliant win at Lyon. There's come a draw and a win at home. Caen's home form, though, has been nothing short of awful. With just one point game and six defeats in the last seven, Dijon aimed to take advantage of that fact. Wesley Said frustrated there. Two in his last three, including the winner in the 3 2 success over Rennes. But Bryce Samba able to clear. Well, Caen have won the reverse fixture 2 0. Dijon gained revenge by knocking the Normans out of the Coupe de la Ligue in December. But with only four games to be played after this encounter, the tension for both sides palpable. Well, Amiens and Monaco could still be caught to secure safety, but the minimum for the bottom three would be 18th place and a potential reprieve offered by a relegation playoff with Ligue 2's third place team. Con felt that it wasn't going to be their day came out in search of the win that would take hold of that league position. But Enzo Crivelli brilliantly denied by Renard Renarsson. The deflection, I mean, it was a brilliant save and wonderful clearance by Fuad Shafik. It was a match screaming out for a moment of inspiration. And Kong captain Faisal Fajer took the responsibility to provide the spark. Fourth of the season, but surely is most important in Norman Colours. The debate of whether he meant it or not won't bother Macadel on oh, his men one bit at all. And the technique stunning. And the Icelandic goalkeeper completely caught out right into the top corner. And Com with a priceless goal. Suddenly Dijon needed to force the issue. Name Slitty picking outside. We find Benjamin Geno trying to play it back to the number nine. But it was fortunate for Frederic Gilbert. He actually played it off his own crossbar. Fortune for Kahn. Bree Samba's only fourth clean sheet at home was secured after brilliant to nine. Julio Tavares. Name Slitty's cross was gratefully grabbed by the luminous yellow goalkeeper. Mokon doing the double over Dijon it could have huge implications as the Normans leapfrog the mustard men by a point to sit 18th with four to play. Three points from 17th Monaco who have a game in hand and a further point shy of Amiens in 16th.